follow all this video is going to display uh, the improvements with the CNN. So previously already we saw the CNN code from scratch and in that we are using the layers only five layers like uh, convolution only, max pooling only, flatten and two dense layers. But in now we are going to work with some different layers, different number of layers. So as you all know, as the number of layers increases, the accuracy and the loss also increases. So we are just, what are the layers which are making in addition of uh, convolution layer, batch normalization layer and the dropout, uh, dropout layer. What is the function of this batch normalization and dropout layer is that it is going to reduce this overfitting and underfitting issues. So we have just uh, added this layers in extra and this is the summary of the uh, layers which we have stacked in the uh, improved CNN code from scratch by using batch normalization and also dense uh, uh, layer. Now we are going to train our model for training as we usually do we are using the fit function and here we as for previous course in ANN and also CNN we have trained for 50 approaches but so we in this code also we are training for 50 approaches uh, so only we can make a comparison so the optimizer which other uh, things like a loss and optimizer matrix is common uh, so as I said previously in the previous video if you want to uh, uh, If you want to take only less timings you can reduce the number of approaches or else if you want a, a better results means you can also increase the number of approaches it is upon you uh, We here we have chosen 50 and also in the previous uh, Videos I would have said that we will make a comparison based on ANN CNN and also this improvement CNN that we have done we can just check once it is completed so it after it is completed we are going to display the performance matrix parameters of this uh, uh, models like a uh, precision recall and f1 score after that we are going to display the confusion matrix of this model and finally we are going to compare the accuracy of the uh, ANN then CNN and also some uh, this increased CNN so we can wait till this uh, code is going to execute So now the approaches has completed and also you can see the values for precision recall and F1 score is also displayed and also the confusion matrix graph is also displayed and finally we are going to compare the three uh, accuracies that is ANN uh, which is red color, CNN which is orange color and uh, the improvement in CNN you can see it's orange color but the uh, CNN which we have not made any improvements it's a red color uh, so when compared to loss also the CNN which we are uh, uh, providing some uh, improvements is only showing some uh, better loss when compared to the other models so means it is uh, just uh, uh, no 
mostly it will be zero but in the cnn which we have made it is uh, less than zero only so it is showing some better uh, loss when compared to the previous models uh, so uh, then we have just compared the loss graph uh, sorry validation accuracy and validation loss graph here also we can see the the thing which we have improved, it is showing some improvements when compared to the other group. So this is the thing which we have got, we have made for diabetes disease classification. Thank you.